are in Salinas, California, the agricultural hub of Northern California. We're at Flourish Farms. Flourish Farms is a major supplier to Harborside in their dispensaries and various cannabis operations across the state. This is a converted greenhouse facility where they've taken a, about a half a million square foot traditional greenhouse it's installation and they've really transformed it into a state-of-the-art cannabis production facility and uh, really combining two of the nicest things you could ask for in cannabis cultivation, that is California Sun and supplemental lighting with California Lightworks. So at California Lightworks, we've been making uh, LED grow lights since about 2008. And now here in 2018, it's really amazing to see uh, commercial cannabis and LED grow lights really going mainstream, hitting uh, commercial level agriculture. We used to get very excited when somebody bought two, three, or five lights, and then it became 10 or 20 lights was the biggest installations we'd heard of. We have about 160,000 square feet, and that's 50,000 of, of nursery, and then a little over 105,000 of, of, uh, of flower, and then we're actually moving into another house that's close to 50,000 square feet in the next three months. And then you've got your larger installation, the new, newest system, is that the 50,000 you're talking yes, about? Yes, that's the 45,000, that'll be a Venlo greenhouse, it'll be state-of-the-art glass, and we'll be equipping that also with heated floors and rolling benches and LED lights. Very nice, well, I, I see a lot of greenhouses in my business, this is cream of the crop right here. I mean, yes. it's really indoor quality of sanitary conditions, of procedures, of, environmental controls, Correct. which uh, is a challenge in a greenhouse. And it I, is. I think this is the most extensive level of control and conditions I've seen. So congratulations, it looks really good. In California, even though we have uh, some of the best sun in the world, you still get certain times of the year in the winter where yield can be lowered by as much as half due to the lighter light levels. And in places like the Salinas Valley where you have a uh, coastal fog almost every morning, and at the end of every day, you can supplement that lighting to keep it even light levels across the year, even yields across the year for the most efficient production. You talk to some growers out there in this valley and everywhere, they're trying to do it without putting in the higher end stuff, which I know is difficult to do. It's very hard to raise money in this industry. But you have to look at this as growing an indoor crop. And even in a greenhouse, you need really good systems to control that humidity. If you don't have it, I think you're going to become more of an extraction company in the future. You're going to be an oil-based company in the Salinas Valley and a lot of valleys and a lot of areas in California. Our thinking behind it is we want to be a little more boutique, hence why I went with your lighting too, because I want the light to complement flower, not complement leaves. So right, why do I need more leaves in a situation where I have too many leaves already? We sure, have to do leaves, right? We've seen that even with some of our competitors, they're supplementing more with blue light, which would yeah. make sense for a leafy green product Correct. or crop where we really feel that red, heavy red is essential for yield exactly. in, in any fruit and flower. So. We want to be a high yield producer, but also low cost. And that's going to be the key, I think, in the next 12 to, to 24 months, is being a high yield producer, quality, you know, organic, you know, boutique, high-end flower. You can't do that outdoor. You can't do that with Mother Nature, I don't and feel. You and you're, a greenhouse, it's it, not You're easy. also being tested. Every little drift from air, everything makes a difference now, right? I'm involved with a number of greenhouses in Carpinteria area, but mm -hmm. powdery mildew and botrytis is... It's rampant. It's, it's, that's the norm. Nobody right. has figured it out really yet, so yeah. it's... A yeah. big challenge. It is a challenge. Well, the benefit that we're doing is we're heating our chamber room, which we call the positive airflow room, and that brings in warm air from in that chamber and also outside so we can mix the two. So as you have humidity building up inside the house, it's hard to get rid of it in the Salinas Valley unless you have an outside source that has like 70 percent humidity, which is typical of our valley, 70, 80, and you bring that in with heat and the heat cooks it down to about 50 percent humidity and we bring it in through the heat tubes and we distribute it evenly through the canopy and then it pushes the humidity up through the roof system. So at night we've got to do a little purging with our blackout, the air from the outside, cooking it, pushing it through and right now we're maintaining 70 at night and about 60 percent humidity which is a perfect line going straight across. 
But you have a close relationship with the Harbor Side. A lot of part, yes. a lot of your production goes through. Correct. Them. And we're opening up two more stores this year, so we're pretty excited about that. To yeah. have four stores uh, on our flagship, and then we'll open up another two to three next year. So in a greenhouse situation, first we're calculating the average light in that particular part of the country. We're calculating what, how much supplemental light they will need to maintain the same light level across the year. The light plan is done to space the lights out in exactly the concentration to get the light levels, especially calculating for the lowest light levels of the year, and the lights are spaced out accordingly. So in this particular greenhouse, what's the total square footage here of this entire house? This house is 52,500 square feet, so it's roughly what we call an acre of canopy because it's about 43,000 uh, square feet of canopy on benches. And we've done uh, supplemental lighting to reach 400? A little over, almost 500. 500. Canopy. Yeah, 500 U-moles. And that tra translated to how many lights, more or less? And That's 2,250 lights. That's a lot of pretty <laughs> lights. I like it. So at uh, California Lightworks, we really believe in the greenhouse model as far as being uh, offering quite a few advantages for large-scale cultivation while controlling the environment, uh, controlling pests, being able to control the light, but at the same time using as much as natural sun that you can and then augmenting that with artificial light. Uh, the big advantage of LEDs being it can be adjusted up and down based on the level of sunlight available. So from zero to 100%, it just automatically can go up and down with the levels of light. And another even more interesting feature that you can do with California Lightworks is actually change the spectrum, supplementing with just the right spectrum for the particular plant or the time of the season. We believe that spectrum control in a greenhouse environment can really give you the best of all worlds, the highest yield with the lowest energy consumption.